Hello everyone, I'm Great Luke, thank you for joining me, and welcome for the first time to Factorio C Blocks, where we are not only stranded on an alien planet, but also in the middle of the ocean. But before looking too much at this, let's just have a look at our mods for this. So this all comes from the C Block pack, mod pack. Uh, and yeah, if you just remove all other mods and install this, it will make sure that you have all the mods that it recommends. With this mod pack, we get some angel stuff. Angels add-ons, bioprocessing, petrochemical, refining, smelting. Some artisanal reskins. I'm not too sure about this, I think it's just cosmetics. We get Bob's mods with adjustable inserters, assembling machines. Electronics, enemies, functions, well this is just a, yeah, functions for the other mods. Logistics, metals, chemicals and intermediates, mining, modules, ores, personal equipment mod, a power mod, revamp. I'm not sure if this just revamps everything. Yeah, it does. Okay. Uh, some technology, warfare. I'm not too sure how much this will actually do for us because we're in the middle of the ocean, but we shall see. We got some circuit processing. Mm. That apparently removes some of mods, or uh, Bob's mods things. I'm not sure about that. We shall see. Explosive ex excavation that just removes land so we have water instead. Some library for some mods. Fne that you use to see different recipes for an item. I usually use uh, what's it actually used for mod. I'm not sure if this is better or worse. We shall see. We have hell mod for uh, planning work lines or processing lines. KS power that just adds different power producing options. Um, I haven't used this before so I don't actually know what it adds other than Bob's things. Landfill painting, yeah, just cosmetics, I'm not just gonna pay too much attention to that. Science cost tweaker, we might have some more expensive science, I'm not sure. C block, that actually does the, well, makes the whole world into the sea, I guess. The pack that just involves everything else, and space extension mod, that extends the end game. So we need to launch more than one rocket. I haven't played this mod before, so I don't know what that entails, but we shall see, I guess. So let's just start with that and making the map. <laughs> you don't have any resources, obviously, because it's the sea. You can apparently scale the sea. I'm just gonna leave this at default. I don't think it has any. Uh, it does. I, I don't think it makes any difference, but we shall see. Yeah. We're not gonna find out, I guess. I'm just gonna leave enemies at well that we have base bases, but they don't expand. I don't think they can expand, but I don't, I don't know. And yeah, everything just at default. And yeah, so we are put into the middle of the ocean. We have some small islands around with some desert gardens. I guess yeah, this is for Bob's right. The last series we played was with Bob's and Angels, and we did do a lot of bioprocessing in that. I guess that is what this is for. And we do have enemy bases, we can't see them, but they're there. Okay, good to know. But our little small island, we have a rock, which is apparently our home. And we have just a duplicate of our own inventory in here. I'm just gonna pick that up. Apparently this just works as a storage chest. I'm not sure if we should keep this. I think it's larger, larger than most storage chests. But for my sanity, let's remove it. <laughs> so yeah, we obviously need to make some more space around us. And we do have a lot of landfill to start with. But I don't think this is all we will get. I think we're supposed to make more landfill out of stuff from the ocean. 
but let's just get a little bit of an area to start with. So yeah, let's actually just go into how we can produce more landfill. And apparently we can't yet. Let's have a look at the research. So we need to crush some stereotype to do science. I'm not sure how this works, to be honest. Apparently we just need to produce stuff or consume stuff. Can we make a science lab? No. So I'm guessing we just have to process some stuff and that will actually unlock more stuff for us through the science. I'm not sure about it, but we shall see. So we need to find out how to crush stereotype to begin with. So how to produce stereotype? Is that through the slag stuff? We can get crushed stone. No, we can input crushed stone for mineralized water. Brick, that's just the usual recipe. Uh, yeah, we can get crushed stone from slag. And we can get stereotype and sephirite from mineralized water. So we should be able to do that, right? How do we get the water though? From an offshore pump, I guess. Now we could just do this all with hell much, but let's just start with exploring a little bit. So water turns into slag and gases, and we should be able to just burn those gases, right? So an electrolyzer. I'm looking forward to seeing how we can actually, or if we can optimize and make any pretty builds out of this, we shall see. But to begin with, let's just get some basic processing going. We obviously need power and we started with a lot of wind turbines. I am not sure how much these generate. 15 kilowatts. And this requires well, how much? 300 kilo kilowatts. So we need 20 just to power this. Okay, let's use a lot more of this landfill to get some power production going. But let's try not to use all of it at once. But yeah, as I said, we actually do start with a lot, so I'm not too worried. We're still going on the first 1000 landfill. Just used a little more than that. Okay, let's move these all to the corner and have a dedicated power area. These need to be connected with the power pole. So I guess we are going to do something like this. We can fit in two of these above it. No, we cannot. That annoys me a little bit. Can we... No, we can't get medium power poles yet. Well, I guess we will have to redo this area later anyway then. So let's just start by yeah, having single rows connected to this. Oh, and yeah, we need to have them not spaced out at the max range. So we will put the power poles down afterwards. Organize a little bit. Well, I guess we don't really have a lot of stuff that we will use a lot of yet. But I need my power poles down here at least. So that gives us some power. Enough power. We can actually produce 1.1 megawatts. How many do we have here? 38. That math 
doesn't compute in my head. 15 by 38. 15 by 40 would only be 600. So confused about this. Do we have an actual calculator here? Yeah, we do. 38 by 15 megawatts. What? 38 by 15. 570. Yeah. Then why does it say maximum of 1.1? <laughs> I'm not sure. Let's just ignore that for now and see if we can get this going. So we are going to need some flare stacks to remove this gas. And I think we can produce those. Yes. Gonna run out of pipe soon, but we can make more pipe, I guess, out of stone. But we then are gonna run out of brick. Well, I think we need these anyway, so let's just get it going. So now we're producing slag, and not in a very good way, but we have it. I'm just gonna make a little bit more space in front of this. I all, well, I always just want to start increasing our production before we start using it, but maybe we should try and be a little bit conservative with how much resources we use at the beginning. So the slag we need to put into a liquefier or something. How did... Oh, a crusher maybe? Yeah, burner or crusher. Let's actually just have a look if we can find a better way to do this or another way, just to be sure. So, we want to make slag to begin with. We have 24 recipes doing that, but we only have water to begin with. We can't do that. Nope, nope, nope. Well, at some point we can do this, but yeah, probably not. We don't have any of these resources yet. Oh, so we just have water. Okay, so this is how we will make slag, and from slag all the other resources. Let's have a look at crushed stone. Crushed stone. From crushing stuff, obviously. From crushing slag. Yeah, so basically just from crushing slag to begin with. I think this is how all of our resource production will start, so that's probably fine. Now we need a crusher. Let's just build one to begin with. I'm not sure how we're going to organize this, so I'm just going to put it down. Put in this. We need something to burn. So cellulose fiber, maybe? I think I saw a recipe for that. Oh, we can just forage for that. I guess I should just be producing this full time. At least when I have nothing else to do. Good, so we are making crushed stone now. And we should be able to turn that into a normal stone. And then we should be able to turn that into stone brick, and then we don't have a problem with stone pipe anymore. Good. So I think we shouldn't run into any... Well, anything that can break our game, so to speak where we can't get anywhere anymore. That's good to know. If we had used all of our resources on electrolyzers to begin with, then maybe we wouldn't have been able to get anywhere. I'm not sure. I just wanted to make sure we didn't get into that situation. So from crushed stone, we can make mineralized water. And from mineralized water, we can make ores. 
So I guess that is our processing line line for now. Let's just have a look at mineralized water. Stone, electrolyzers and stuff. Yeah, we do not have any of that. Okay, it's just this. I guess it makes sense that there's just one simple recipe to begin with. I am gonna make a little bit more space. So I'm thinking that we are gonna expand all of our production out this way and then get the complexity up going down. But we shall have it. Well, we shall see how that works out. At some point, we probably want a smelting bus and then a, a straight up bus, but we shall see. I wonder if you can just produce this cellulose from a from an assembling machine at some point. Maybe, maybe not. We shall see. Anyway, we need to turn the crushed stone into mineralized water, and that is done in a liquefier. So give us... Oh, I really want to be able to move around this stuff. Dang it. Next step after that would require a... what exactly? Crystallizer, so let's just make one of those as well. Then we can make this. And... Well, I guess we should get back on this then. So, liquefying. This stuff. We need water in. To get mineralized water out. Yeah. Again, we will have to redesign all of this later. So actually, let's just conserve a bit of space for now. Oh, this can stay. We need belts and stuff between them and some pipes. I guess we actually do need a pipe in for this. To begin with, I guess we can actually just... No, then we would have the output going to the right or left. And then we would have to make a crystallizer over here. So let's try and do this with a space in between. So we need more underground... No, not underground. Offshore pumps. It's what it's called. Okay. And power, of course. And the recipe. And... Press stone. Man, we transfer all the stuff. Good. So we have mineralized water. Let's put that into a crystallizer. To make all of this stuff. And power. Good, and now we're actually producing resources. And of course this is done in a percent rate, so... We don't actually know how much of each we get, but... Over time it should even out to 70% oh, and 55% times 2. So 110% and 70%. <laughs> okay. We have stuff. So I guess if we now press this, we should have our first research. We need to stereotype this one. Do that. Oh, we need more. Okay. Why did this stuff? Because we did not have enough stone. Good. Yes, it works like that. Good. So, I understand a little bit of it, I guess. Now we need to make brown algae. Or we can try to make more of all this stuff, but I want belts before we do that. And I think we need this for belts. Maybe, maybe not. 
Don't seem to be far away yet. Hmm. So we can't do inserters either. When do we get inserters? Inserters. From this. Okay. So we need to get here to get inserters. Then we can do some automation stuff at least. Until then we need to do a lot of this stuff manually. Just out of curiosity. How slow is this stuff? One slag every four seconds. This can crush a slag every second. So we need four of these to satisfy this one machine. Let's just scale that up a little bit then. Just so we don't have to go back and forth doing this all the time. Also, no, we don't have any more uh, cellulose stuff. So again, produce that. So we need another burner or crusher, so we can also crush the sephirite stuff. Also, we should start this. And we should get this down. Get it all connected. Space between all of these so we don't cross the pipes. Well, actually, can you? Are you allowed to cross the pipes? No. If we could just put one flare stack to burn it all, that would be easier. But we do need two separate pipes, I guess. Now we could also just make more flare stacks. But we need basic circuit boards for that, and I don't want to use too many of those until we have to. So I guess we try to make do with what we have. Something like this. And put one of these, maybe just here, for now at least. That should get rid of everything, right? Then we just need to collect the slag, put in there, collect the crush stone, put in here. The mineralized water gets in here by itself, we need to collect this. in there. We wanted another burner. So this stuff, unless we need it later for a res or some research, doesn't look like it. Get this going again. So yeah, there's a lot of manual work to begin with, it seems. That's fine, I can live with that. It just makes the automation of stuff so much more satisfying when you get to it. So let's have a look at brown LJ. And it is specifically brown, but we get that from this as well. We need one of those. And we just need water for it, it seems. Also, maybe we should just put down more wind farms. Mm. Oh, actually, we are at the 570. Oh, it's the pro 
production that needed a max of. No, that's satisfaction. I'm not sure why it said 1.1 megawatts before. We need more power in any case. Let's just extend up here, I guess. Starting to want uh, squeak through the squeak through mod, so we can actually just go between the pipes. It isn't really very realistic, I guess, but it's just so annoying to have to run around everything. At least we can move between these, but this all will prevent us from moving through it. So I think that is something I would install on before the next episode. I will notify you if I do. At least if I remember. So we need this stuff now. Not sure if we need more than one to begin with. I'm just gonna chug it over here. Good, so we just need water in and power. Okay, this is slow, but I don't know what we need it for yet, so I'm not gonna scale it up in any way. Maybe we should make a lot more space though. It could be nice. Or maybe it's a waste. We shall see. Okay, so... We're not really doing anything before this is done, right? Do we have enough power? Yes. It seems, at least. I'm still not sure why it doesn't add up with 108 of these. That should only be slightly above 1.5 megawatts, but it's twice that. Games are weird. Doesn't matter. We have green LG, and that is done. Oh, brown LG, sorry. Now green circuits, oh basic circuits, sorry. Oh, so this unlocks all of this. Paper and wood processing. So we can make cellulose fiber out of the LG and out of wood. No, sorry, we can wait. No, yeah, I'm confused, sorry. We can make cellulose fiber. And we can make that into wood pellets, and that into wood bricks. And now we can make electric poles if we needed more. Okay. And some chests. We need the wooden board though, which requires what? Can we just make this now? Yep. So wooden board and copper cables. Okay. That is probably a lot more. Yeah complex than it sounds, but we shall see. Can I do this by hand? Yes, I can. So this is a lot faster to do it this way. But we don't have a lot of production files yet, so let's just keep doing this. Okay, wooden board is just paper. Paper is cellulose pulp, cellulose pulp is cellulose fiber and alginic acid, which is brown algae, which we just made. Good to know. So where can we make this stuff? Can we automate it or should I just do it by hand? We don't have an assembling machine. Can we do it in this? Let's just stop that. No, we do not. So it is just done by hand for now, it seems. I guess. Hmm. I think that means that we want more of this stuff. So let's just scale it a little bit. We have more of these, just one. 
This is gonna be a mess, but it doesn't really matter. We shall remake everything soon, I think. <laughs> Just get this one done and then stop it. And we need some more water, but that requires iron gear wheels. And we can't make those yet, dang it. Oh well. So more water first. Oh, well, just let two of these run first, I guess. That's so slow. And I guess we will just pull the power down. I am just getting a little confused why these are all different down here than up above. I want systems, not a miss. Let's do that. And run some power down. Oops. Good, so now we're producing a little bit more. But unfortunately, that's all we have time for in this episode. So thank you all for joining me, and I'll see you next time. Bye.